Here is a look at an advanced FPGA tool flow that includes a few more steps. Please note that these additional steps are considered optional, but we are sure that some customers have used these tools and found them beneficial to their FPGA development. Equivalency checking after synthesis and after place and route can be done using the Synopsys Formality or Verplex conformal software packages. A market for these kind of tools has been built because so many ASIC designers have become FPGA designers. So these tools help them unify their development needs. Floor planning is a useful step that can help improve the speed of an FPGA design. It is important to note that floor planning for FPGAs takes the form of making area constraints with either the Xilinx Floor Planner, the Synopsys Amplify Floor Planner, or the Xilinx Plan Ahead software. Area constraints allow the designer to effectively group logic into regions of the device, and this can sometimes improve the speed of the design. You can also use Synopsys Prime Time for an extra step of static timing analysis. This provides an ASIC quality sign-off to your finished timing. Xilinx also includes a utility for estimating your component's power consumption called XPower. This tool is included with the ISC software suite. Finally, the FPGA editor is used for modifying the place and route solution. This is a back-end tool that allows you to get into the nitty-gritty of the actual die. Literally control everything about your design without having to place and route the design again. This tool is, of course, included with the ISC design suite. Now we'll talk about some of these tools a little later in the presentation. Equivalency checking, also known as formal verification, determines if two versions of the design are functionally equivalent by comparing an RTL netlist and a post-synthesis netlist. This provides for fast and efficient verification of large designs without the use of test vectors. This is primarily for verifying that no changes to the functionality occurred from one version to the next. There are a couple of different floor planning and layout tools you can choose from. The Xilinx Floor Planner, which is included with the ISC tools, allows you to create layout or area constraints for specific regions on the die which can be assigned to specific design blocks. You can also use hard location constraints, but this is typically discouraged unless the designer has significant design experience. It is important to remember that timing constraints are the best method to improve the speed of your design. In the end, if you're not familiar with proper floor planning techniques, you can waste a significant amount of time. That is the part of the reason I recommend that customers use our Plan Ahead software and attend our two-day course. The Xilinx Plan Ahead software also allows you to make area constraints. One of the very nice things about this tool, however, is that with a little effort, it makes your area constraints more effective by helping you make better constraints. It also allows the implementation of your design on an area constraint basis, which is helpful for maintaining parts of a good implementation. It even has a means of replicating the placement and routing associated with IP. It is a very sophisticated tool that some customers value a great deal. Plan Ahead is available on a free trial basis and is not included with the ISC tools. Synopsys has a tool called Amplify that is not shown here. It can also be used for design layout and physical synthesis of the logic providing for a round trip time enclosure. With Amplify, you synthesize, provide some layout information, and implement the design through place and route. After it is completed place and route, you back annotate the timing information into a utility called Synplot, which then tries to optimize the critical paths and perform a physical synthesis, hopefully providing for faster timing closure. This is a third-party tool that is provided by Synopsys. This is a shot of the Xilinx Floor Planner utility. It allows you to evaluate the layout found by the Place and Route tools. With it, you can select logic by instance name or hierarchy and have it become highlighted. You can also select nets from their own window so they become highlighted. The Gray Placement window contains the last implementation result found by the tools. Area constraints are made in the White Floor Plan window. 
in this case you can see that five area constraints have already been made and are color coded. This is a screenshot from the Plan Ahead software. You may recall that I mentioned this tool has some analysis capabilities beyond what the Xilinx floor planner can do. This tool was designed to help designers build large FPGA designs that require high speed, high device utilization, or special implementation control. By using Plan Ahead, designers can save time during the place and route process. This is accomplished by allowing you to implement logic on an area constraint basis rather than re-implement the entire design every time. Plan Ahead also provides connection and pin assignment displays that allow you to see the source and destinations for each of your area constraints. This enables you to make smarter area constraints that take all data paths into consideration and help you avoid making a timing critical path. So in this example, you can see that six area constraints have been made that allow you to see the number of signals that are routed between each area constraint. Well, maybe that detail is hard to see, but trust me, if you had the tool loaded, you could display that kind of detail. This helps you understand where your area constraints need to be placed to communicate effectively and at a high speed. This functionality is also useful for planning the distribution of your clock domains. Recall that to maximize the use of your global writing resources, clocks can be isolated into regions of the die. As I mentioned earlier, being able to implement your logic on an area constraint basis is a powerful function of Plan Ahead. This allows you to tailor the implementation options in an area constraint that will most help you gain device utilization and speed. This is a functionality that is not built into the ISC tools. Block-based design functionality is also supported. This enables a designer to maintain the place and route solution found for IP reuse. So if you build a lot of IP and want to maintain your timing, either to save verification time or build a high speed design, you can do that with Plan Ahead. This is also a feature not built into the ISC tools. Pin Ahead is now the preferred tool for users to make their pin assignments. Besides a design rule checker, which aids in following IO banking rules, Pin Ahead has a WASO analysis capability to help you avoid ground bounce problems. This tool allows you to see both the package and pin views of your design, and this helps for you to see how your signals are grouped into banks on the FPGA. SmartGuide and the use of partitions is included with the ISC tools. SmartGuide allows you to maintain much of the place and route solution found while enabling the tools to make some changes to gain time enclosure. This is used best when you are making a small design change late in the design cycle and you want the tools to keep as much of the place and route solution as possible and still have some flexibility to gain time enclosure in case the design change affected some timing critical paths. This is most helpful when the changes to a design are small. Partitions are used when you absolutely don't want to allow a change to a hierarchical block in your design. This is used when satisfactory results have been found on some components, but still other components require significant design changes. The benefit here is that absolutely no changes will occur to those components that are locked down. This will save development time, not only for place and route, but the components that are locked down no longer need to be simulated.